Good to go. Well, welcome to the Dave Andrichuk Mountain Arena for game one of the J. Ross Robertson Cup Final, the Allen Cup Final, between the Brantford Blast and the Hamilton Steelhawks. You might notice that the Stony Creek Generals are not in change in the finals after being in it for the last five, but don't be fooled. This is the same team that the Generals just relocated to Brantford for this season. And with this being the Steelhawks' first appearance in the final, it is expected that before any champagne can be popped, they will be tested against the experienced vintage in these new Brantford Blast bottles. The goaltenders tonight. For Brantford, wearing white, Ryan DeMello, who's posted a three and two playoff record with a goals against average of two even and a save percentage of 946. For Hamilton, number 51, Adam Monroe. His record is two and one in the finals, or in the playoffs thus far. A goals against average of 3.36 and a save percentage of 909. We are getting ready for the faceoff, Giorgio, and it's been a couple of years. It's been a long time coming. We've wanted to see the Steelhawks win a round, and they are here. They gingerly touch tips at center ice, and we are underway here at the Dave. Rub a dub. The two Sullivan brothers back on defense tonight. They'll start and reel the puck. Hamilton wearing the black, starting out of their own zone. McLean makes a pass over to Benedetto, who circles back into his own zone, and he goes up near center. It's intercepted by Lawrence, who throws it over on that side for Jordan Owens. Owens winds it around the boards, and Hamilton will chip it to the line, but not out. Kept in at an angled shot, and the first save belongs to Adam Monroe. Good to get that one out of the way after a center ice presentation, wouldn't you say? Well, Brantford's journey to the finals here, they started with a 2-0 series lead against Dundas, and uh, then Dundas won the next two games, three and four, and then on Monday night, Brantford overcame a 4-2 deficit in the third period to end up winning and advancing to the finals. Bibich with a shot that Monroe steers wisely to the corner. Rinaldi flips it to center, and Hamilton will try and go on the attack now. Thorne gets the puck in there, and he's got Bibich on him. And a big hit that takes out referee Wes Kindry there behind the net. Sorry, that was Harrison. I guessed. McGregor had trouble keeping it in over the line, and Branford here in white brings it in over the line. A nice move there, and a shot, and a save by Monroe. Puck goes back behind the net. Rajinovich really get it, making his presence known. But look out, here's Profetto with a burst of speed. Angled shot goes high and wide into the corner. McGregor fires that one. It goes all the way back in the net. Already a great pace, and this one in a good crowd in here, eh, Giorgio? Paggio tries to make a move into the fast. Boy, the pace is fast here at the Dave tonight. Both teams making changes. Coach Brian Walker for Hamilton and Coach Battle or uh, Brian Ham for Brantford. Battle of the Bryans. Not since the Calgary 88 Olympics have we seen a battle of the Bryans like this. Chianfrini goes into the corner, and oh, McGregor had trouble getting that one out. Soares has skates over it. Conkle with an angle shot gets it knocked off his stick, and Ling will get his first touch as he's got a man right on him. Oh, man, lies and hit him very hard and on the blue line. But Soares comes in and tries to go to the net. Ling very slow getting up, and he is down on one knee at the blue line, and the referee calls or something there, but Lysen really taking a rung at Ling, and he goes down hard. Play is stopped, and that is the first big hit. Well, one of the biggest ones we've seen on Ling all season. And he got rocked by Lysen, who's got about a full foot on him. So he'll catch a little bit behind the bench there. Lysen setting the tone early on Ling. What a hit that was. Martin Lee. Goes behind the net, and he'll bring it out for Brantford. Stopped right there by Soares. Soares in front to Levelier. Has it go off his stick? Shoots, scores! Levelier gets Hamilton on the board first. After Soares, the former Brantford Blast earlier this season, took the puck off of Martin Lee. And it's 1-0 Steelhawks. Steelhawks goal, scored by number 48, Chris Leboyer. Assist by number 18, Josh Soares. Time of the goal, 2.13 of the first period. 
Newberry brings it in. Hamilton pressing again. DeMello covers that one up. There have been some hard hits that have made this whole building shake already. Boy, yeah, he really went in and got that puck there and just took it right off as Lee came out from behind the net and Soros just stick check him, got the puck over. Levelier had to settle it down and then he slid it five hole. Newberry wins it back to the point. Folks with a shot gets deflected into the slot for McLean who couldn't get a backhander. Needed a cricket bat to try and poke that one at the net. Hamilton pressing again, good forechecking here, creating some turnovers here in the early going. This is Owens who scored the winner, got credit with the winner. It's actually in the game on Monday night in the third period. Long lead pass out. Di Benedetto. Pass over on this side to McLean. McLean in the slot. Shoot, scores! 2-0 Hamilton. Steelhawks goal, scored by number 17, Brandon McClain. Assist by number 96, Justin D. Benedetto, and number 11, Chris Newberry. Time of the goal, 3.03 of the first period. I think it was 3.07, 3.05. They scored! Off the floor, and just like that, Hamilton is back into it. Wow, 3-0, and DeBello is getting shelled. Did Rinaldi get that? Timeout, Brentford. Well, that'll give me time to check the scoring on that one. But wow, how did that happen? That was explosive. Wes, what's it for? I don't know. I'm going to say unsportsmanlike conduct. Steel Hawks goal scored by number 74, Josh Rinaldi. Assist by number seven, Stephen Thorne, and number nine, Stefan Puffetto. Time of the goal, 325. Brantford penalty to number 91, Andrew Rajanovic. Two minutes for unsportsmanlike conduct. Time of the penalty, 325. Rinaldi in there close, goes around the net, centering it. Perfetto behind the net, looking for options, gets it out to the corner. Sullivan, back to the point to Cameron. Cameron wheels it over to Rinaldi and it goes into the corner. Cousins now gets it out to Pajot. And goes cross ice pass for Fergus, that goes nowhere. Fergus jamming away at the puck. Pajot trying to back it to his man, he'll have to go all the way back. Good to see that Ling is back on the ice. Get chasing that puck down. But DeMello himself clears that puck out. And would you believe that Hamilton in the finals, game one here, has jumped out to a 3-0 lead in front of their home fans here at the Dave. Soros takes the puck away. Soros drops it for Sullivan. Hamilton working on the power play with 50 seconds to go in it. Soros, cross ice, gets his puck back. Cross ice, great save by DeMello as Levelier nearly had his second. That was point blank. Sullivan, cross ice, Cameron shoots, save, puck is loose, and that one will be chipped out to center and go down the ice. <laughs> wow, he a great job again by Soares to get the puck across the ice there to an open level, yeah. 
and he let it go. And boy, DeMello must have been anticipating that, and he needs that save in a big way. Gianfrini has it knocked off his stick. Levelier flips it up to Soares. Soares to Ling. Ling brings it in at center now. Six seconds to go on the power play. His shot gets blocked. But Hamilton has the puck. Soares trying to drop it back. Couldn't. Out of the box comes Regenovich. And behind the net, Soares going after his man, McGrath. And McGrath takes a shot at him and still goes at him. Soares keeps his head together. And Evan McGrath might be going for extra minutes there. Could be cross-checking. Let's have a look at what the uh, referee calls here. This is Harrison, Brent Harrison. Two minutes for roughing. Just two. Brantford penalty to number 92, Evan McGrath. Two minutes for roughing. Time of the penalty, five minutes and 31 seconds of the first period. <laughs> well, it was a good hit behind the net. Perhaps some retribution there for what Ling went through now that he was back on the ice. Anyway, Sullivan has the puck. Goes cross ice, Perfetto with a shot. And it goes back now behind the net. McGregor keeps it in. Sorry, that's Di Benedetto on the far side with the puck. Into the corner, and they really chip away at it. Campoli and Pajo. Pajo backhands it to center. Gets it to center, and Di Benedetto gets it knocked off his stick to Fergus, who tries an outside shot. Doesn't get anywhere near the net. Now Di Benedetto brings it to center. Di Benedetto brings it in over the line, and he's got McLean with him. McLean takes it into the corner. Campoli's on him. Back around the boards to Newberry. Newberry's setting up on that far flank. Now he goes low. Di Benedetto to the backhand. Now looks for options back at the point. This is Sullivan. Mike Sullivan gets it back to Newberry. Cross ice to McGregor. Slot shot off the goal post. Rebound. Another save by Danilo. Puck is loose. Goes to the line, and it's just kept in by McGregor. McGregor going over on the far side now. Great opportunity again for Hamilton, and they hit a caress of steel. Look out. This is going to be Pajo with a chance. Short-handed. One hack. Another save. And no, sir. McGr Monroe says no to Pajo. On the short-handed opportunity. Pajo has been a force in the playoffs thus far. He's got three goals. Nearly a shorty there. Killing some more time, that goes all the way down the ice. Monroe standing tall so far here in the early going. Hasn't seen the puck much as Hamilton has been on the power play for the last little bit, but did make some saves early. Rinaldi into the corner. Profetto goes and gets it, but Rinaldi actually keeps it, stays in at the line. Good check by Brantford to get it to the line, and Cousins has it. He'll try and clear the zone, kill more time. 10 seconds left to go in the penalty. Conkle is stopped by Rinaldi as he brings it in over the line. A lot of pushing and shoving. The competitive juice is flowing between these two teams. They want that J. Ross Robertson Cup. A different tone, certainly, the feel here. Penalty now over. DaCosta wheels in his own zone, goes to the far side to Sean Blanchard. Blanchard flips it over on this side to McGrath. McGrath brings it in over the line, goes cross ice. Deflected by Blanchard. He keeps it in and makes a nice move. Still with a puck, but Thorne backhands it to center, and Hamilton might get a change. Look out. This might be Ling. Ling fires a shot that goes high and around the boards. And that'll be Lawrence picking it up. Chris Lawrence brings it in, flips it in over the line. A hack to the line, not out. Blanchard shoots, saved by Monroe, goes into the corner. McGrath out of the box and into the corner. He has the puck, trying to get it back to the point. This is Folks. He takes it out, the defenseman. Now fires it into the corner. Takes a big hit from Blanchard, and that lets the Brantford fans that have made their way here into the Dave. It gives them something to cheer about. They were getting quite cantankerous there after getting down 3-0 here in the early going of game one of the finals. Big save by Monroe. Puck is loose. Now cross-ice pass. McGrath deflected wide, goes into the corner. Mike Sullivan will take a backhander. That'll hit the Hamilton bench, and we'll have a... Stoppage in play here, and Giorgio get to play his fine music. Wow, quite a wild start here in the early going. Almost nine minutes in, and it's 3 0 Hamilton. 11 16 to go in the open period. Chip shot. Saved by Monroe, goes into the corner. 
Now a lead pass out. This is McLean bringing it over the line. McLean takes it into the corner. Hacks around with Bibich. No penalty forthcoming there as he was digging for the puck. Gongowski has it, comes out with it. The pace to this game is really, really spirited. This is some of the best hockey we've seen in this building in terms of speed, in terms of hits. And there's a big one that Lloyd laid on, on Conkle, who has to go back and retrieve his stick. Check that out. Conkle was in his own zone for a change. Puck goes to the line, not out, and Kunkel brings it in over the line, and Lysen now having it. Lysen threw a great body check on Ling earlier. Looks Ling has seen a few shifts since. Into the corner, Gangowski hacks away at it. Comes in front, loose. They bang away at it, and it goes into the corner as Monroe is able to sweep it away from danger. Thorne brings it in over the line. Thorne tries a cross-ice pass, but Rinaldi wasn't there. Martin Lee with a long relief shot that just gets it out of the zone. We're about to hit the 10 minute mark here in the opening period, and it's three nothing for the Steelhawks here in game one. Perfetto at the blue line. Sullivan, back to Perfetto. Perfetto with that speed, brings it in over the line. Angled shot goes wide of the net. Sullivan keeps it in at the line. Dan Sullivan goes low, centering pass, and DeMello gets a paw on it, and he'll hold it for a face off in the Brantford zone. Face off to the glove side of DeMello. Point shot goes wide of the net. Mike Sullivan goes in to retrieve the puck and dump it down low. Goes past Ling and to Levelier behind the net. Ling taking aim at the puck there. Sullivan takes it into the corner. Gets it back to the point. Shot! Just goes high. Puck is behind the net. Almost jammed it around as they were coming around. Now Pajot has it for Branford. Brings it in over the line. Pajot shot blocker saved by Monroe. And that goes high into the mesh that encases this ring. And uh, I don't know if Archer is here, but Giorgio is just taking us into the danger zone. Danger zone! Uh, yeah, Lana, you're going to have the Kenny Loggins. Oh, what? You're not going to listen to the best soundtrack ever? Face off in the zone, back to DaCosta. DaCosta fires it, it goes into the corner and Folks takes it behind the net. Di Benedetto hacking at it, can't quite get it out. Center it all alone in front was McGrath, who actually did get the goal, but it was credited to Owens for the game winner on Monday night in Dundas. Folks turning back in his own zone for Hamilton. Now going up to center, this is McLean. Flips it over on the far side, gets ahead for Di Benedetto, backhand shot, saved by DeMello, another hack at it. And it's gonna be DeCosta that leads it out to the blue line, not out. Folks plays it behind the net, tries to take the Hamilton members bounce there, but it didn't quite work, and Lawrence starts it out to Blanchard who brings it through center. Cameron spins around. Di Benedetto with a pass to Perfetto. Perfetto shoots and a save by DeMello as that one goes right into the breadbasket. Yes. Fans, the world's oldest national hockey championship is the Allen Cup. And this year will be co-hosted in Dundas at the JL Greitmeyer Arena right here at the Dave Andrzejczyk Mountain Arena. Tickets and packages available now. Mark your calendars for April 6th to 11th for the Allen Cup. Gianfrini puts it deep and into the zone. Campoli. With, over f with 444 games of NHL experience, brings it out. Campoli with the puck now. He once scored an overtime goal twice in one game. Check that out, sometimes on those top tens. Perfetto into the slot, backhander. Great glove save off of Rinaldi by DeMello. He had DeMello moving the wrong way and he tried to go with the backhander up high and it's a good save there by DeMello, who settled down after those first three goals. Campoli winds it around and it comes out to Fergus, who as Doug Monroe has informed me is related to Tom Fergus, the former Leaf. 
Number 18 and assistant captain. Alternate captain, I should say. One heck of a wrist shot. And it's nice of Doug to mention that, knowing that I'm a Leaf fan and he's a Habs fan, as we tip our cap to Henri Richard, who passed away at 84 earlier today. Levelier picks up the puck for Hamilton. He got this scoring started on a nice pass from Soares, the former Brantford Blast player. Cousins has it and leads it up. This is Conkel. Conkel in over the blue line, stops, waits for help, tries a shot. That gets blocked by, by Sullivan, the captain. Plays it up to center, and now Lee has the puck for Brantford. Seven minutes to go in the opening period. A cross-ice pass for Lison gets past him. Monroe will come out to play it, make a nice pass to Sullivan, who turns back of his own zone, but Gangowski intercepts. Now a turnover behind the net leads to this shot by Cousin. Deflected twice, doesn't get through. And Hamilton will come out with it. This is Newberry over center and a cross-ice pass for Lloyd, but Di Benedetto couldn't drag that foot far enough behind. Yes, he couldn't quite beat it, could he? <laughs> it did drag his leg and it did extend it in a way that looked like he was in fact a skip calling the hammer. Newberry to take the draw against McGrath. Perfetto has the puck and brings it in over the line for Hamilton. Tries a cross ice pass. It gets to Mike Sullivan in the slot and a shot by Newberry just goes wide. Now in the corner and that was Blanchard that was tripped up there by Lawrence, the very tall Lawrence. A nice move by Owens twice. He's got to get out of the zone yet and finally does. Now Owens with a burst of speed through center. Brings it in over the line. Turns and curls and goes into the corner. Cross ice pass gets past Di Benedetto. Now it's Newberry and Hamilton had the early makings of a two on one but Newberry wanted to get off the ice. Lloyd tries a shot that deflects and goes into the corner. Blanchard behind the net. Things settling down after a wild opening three minutes in this one, or just over three minutes, three and a half to be exact. Lawrence brings it in over the line. Deflected, saved by Monroe. Cross ice pass, gets deflected and comes back out to center where Vivich picks it up for Branford. 5.40 to go, opening period, Hamilton up 3-0. Most of the damage coming in the first minute, three minutes and 25 seconds. Campoli over the line, takes it into the corner. Campoli controlling the puck, gets it in front, angled shot there by Rajinovic goes wide. Fergus has it knocked off his stick and Profetto with a burst of speed, brings it in over the line. Profetto looking for options to the front and Rinaldi couldn't tip that one. Rajinovic picks up the puck in his own zone, slows things down, tries a long lead pass that finds Fergus, but it's kept in the line. Pajot in a shooting spot, off the crossbar! That draws an, uh, an, a groan from the crowd who heard that one. Hit iron, another caress of steel, Giorgio. Pajot behind the net, tries to jam it in, gets it to the front. Hamilton trying to clear the slot there, gets it into the corner. Thorne bunched up there, Hamilton a bit in front. He's really got a man on him and finally reverses the puck for McGregor, who will try a lead pass and just get out. Perfetto swatting away at it, but Cousins goes back into his own zone, leads it up to Pajo. Long pass gets passed and hits the skate of Cousins and will go back. Hamilton will complete a change here. Ling back on the ice with Levelier and Lloyd. Gangowski with a shot. Monroe absorbs that rebound, absorbs that puck in the bread basket and there's no rebound, but there'll be a face off in the Hamilton zone with 4.15 to go in the opening period. The score, three nothing Steelhawks here in the opening period. Ah, it's the Kerncraft, 400th. I missed the first 399, so uh, I don't know if this is an improvement, George, you know? <laughs> the 401 is never good. Sullivan winds it around to Ling. Ling looks for some targets, brings it through center. Gangowski's going to try and hit him, and he does knock him off the puck before he could get rid of it. And the turnover as the blast come up with the puck through center. Lison weaves his way around through center. He's got a very long reach and a very slender frame. That one looked like it came out, but that went out of play anyway. But Blanchard just keeping that inside. 
Have to watch that one on the replay. Scott Doy earlier on saying that Brett Legat might see some action in this one, but DeMello has really settled down and made some good saves since. Face off outside the blue line of the Hamilton zone between Newberry and McGrath. Owens cheating off the face off there. They'll do it again. Long pass finds Newberry on the far side. Newberry drops it to Di Benedetto, shooting, and that just goes low and wide. Mike Sullivan into the corner. Centering pass gets deflected. Hamilton controlling. Newberry flips it in front to Di Benedetto, who hacks at it a few times. Puck is loose and cleared by Branford. Now McGrath has it at center. Branford goes the other way. Makes a nice move to the outside. Lawrence into the slot, but Owens, had he been the other hand, might have been able to get a good shot away. Didn't there. Owens again in the slot area. Owens shoots. That's a good save. I don't know if it hit something on the way in, but it sounded like it hit Monroe's pads. I think Mon I think Doug is marking that one down as a shot. He is as he waves to the crowd here at the Dave. Cross ice pass. McLean brings it in over the line, tries to drop pass, shot! DeMello wasn't quite expecting it, but Profetto goes after it. Owens has the puck now, brings it through center. Lawrence brings it in over the line. Now shooting it into the slot. Here comes Profetto as he brings it out to Rinaldi. Rinaldi turns at the blue line, flips it into the corner, and it gets past DeMello. DeMello will come out to backhand it, but Rinaldi picks up the puck, tries to go delicately into the slot. Can't. Bivich looking for Pajot, who is all the way up there. Monroe plays it and says, enough of that. Dumps it to center. <laughs> no, that time it was Pajot. Fergus bringing it in over the line. Angled shot gets deflected and goes behind the net. Rogenovich tries to center it, but it's Hamilton taking over. And the first pass gets just past Profetto and Thorne off his stick. Now back into the slot. Rogenovich gets tripped on his way to the net. No arm goes up as he was pressured by two Steelhawks defensemen. Big step up there by Lee to knock the puck off. But here's Profetto with some room. Shoots and a glove save by DeMello, who leaves it for his defenseman there. That is Martin Lee bringing it out. Now Fergus. Over the line for the blast. Gets it into the slot area. Now Lloyd picks up the puck. Will try a short little pass to Levelier, who dumps it into the corner. What's the shots look like, Doug? What are the shots at this point? Yep. Okay, thank you. I'll count the rest, too. In over the line comes Branford there. Just over a minute to go in this period, Lloyd comes up with the puck and gets it to Ling, and Ling will come through center. Ling brings it in over the blue line. Tries to drop it to Lloyd, but it's taken there by Branford, and they will clear the zone. That's McGrath getting out. Last minute of play in the first period. Over the line, Orwins shooting, and that's a blocker save. Hacked away at the corner by Monroe, who had it at the side of the net. That was, he did make it look delicate by knocking it out of the air with his stick. Goes into the corner and DeMello will reverse the puck there. For Gangowski, who has a man right on him, is McLean aggressively forechecking. Puck comes into the slot area. Di Benedetto trying to get a chance at it. But it'll be Blanchard that leads it out to Lawrence. Lawrence has it knocked off his stick by Sullivan and it goes into the corner. Sullivan reverses the puck. Hamilton will have a chance to get out of the zone here. A long pass misses on the far side. 14 seconds to go in the opening period. 3-0 Hamilton. In a wild, aggressive start. Outside shot doesn't make it through. Six seconds to go. Newberry from way out. He's got to let it go. He does. DeMello makes one last save. And that'll do it for the first period. Shots after the first period. Branford blast, 18. Hamilton Steelhawks, 20. Second period. Coming up. Well, welcome back to the second period of play. Hamilton up 3-0 after that opening period. Goals coming off of Levelier, McLean, and Josh Rinaldi. And we're just about to get things started here in the second period as the goalies get set. Shots in that first period. Branford Blast at 18. Hamilton had 20. 
taking some time to get going here to start the second period of play. Levelier will take the draw against McGrath. And away we go. Second period underway. Diana has cloaked herself. Apollo has lifted his skirt. The game has been relaunched. Send a special hi to Doug Monroe's up in the booth with us tonight. Special hi to Sandra, Sandra Al Reyes, who's listening to the game at home. Over the line, this is Lawrence. A shot goes wide of the net, just past the blocker side of Monroe. Hamilton coming out with the puck as Rinaldi nudges his man. Ling chips it past Blanchard, and it goes all the way into the zone. DaCosta picking it up there. Owens now coming out of the zone and through center over on the far side to McGrath, who tries to get it. Can't. Thorne going past it. Owens goes back behind the net and gets past McGrath, who is picking up his stick. Rinaldi flips it to center. That gets knocked down by Lawrence at center, and it's a turnover. And Owens will drop it into Lawrence. Lawrence goes wide. Has a man on him. McGregor bumps him. The puck's still in the corner. Lawrence behind the net, tries to backhand it in front, gets it across the crease area, but nobody there to pick it up. Gianfrini now picking up the puck and flips it to center. And that gets out of the zone. Rinaldi going wide, catching up to the puck and checking his man, Campoli, who goes back into his own zone. Regenovich over the blue line, far pass on that side for Fergus, just eludes him. And it's McLean picking up the puck. No, sorry, that's Thorne. Thorne bringing the puck over the line and into the corner. Fighting with Campoli, who takes him out. Now, but now Perfetto picking up the puck and turning around in his own zone. Perfetto, cross ice pass right on the stick of Rinaldi, but he couldn't settle it down. Otherwise, he had a wide open net there in front of DeMello. Now, back of the net goes into the corner. Hamilton still controlling. Into the slot, Thorne pinching and had a redirection there from the slot that he couldn't get Goodwood on. Goodwood, huh? Well, my cousin is watching, Giorgio. She's a big fan of the Himalayan pink, just like you. Pajo in over the line. Has it turned around, and this is Perfetto. Or Di Benedetto on the long side. This now to Newberry brings it in over the line. Now McLean turns in his own zone. Cross ice pass. Cameron goes over on that side to Sullivan in the slot. McLean had trouble settling it down, and Di Benedetto goes back behind the net. But Newberry tries to get it in front. That was knocked down by Martin Lee, who turns around with the puck. And we'll clear out of the zone for Brantford. Long pass, Pajo knocks it down and goes off the ice. The captain, Dan Sullivan, on patrol behind the net, brings it out to center. Long lead pass, finds Steve Benedetto, coming in on an angle. Steve Benedetto into the slot. McLean shot, almost gets through, but hits a few skates off. Owens controls it into the corner. Owens, Owens. This is Cousin, coming up with it on a long lead pass, just eludes Conkle, and that one will go for icing. The players objecting as Monroe had left his crease, and usually that's enough to negate the icing, but it had crossed the line before he left the crease, I think on a very rapid dump in. Now the officials are going to get together. Kindry going to talk to the linesman, and they might do this face off at center. Hi there, Joe Muto, if you're watching. And a tip of the cap to Henri Richard today. A big loss for the Montreal Canadiens family and one of the finest Stanley Cup winners of all time. Having to live in the shadow of his older brother and really carved out a name for himself as third all-time leading scorer for the Montreal Canadiens, passing away earlier today at the age of 84. Blanchard bringing it out over the line, chips it in, and that's going to be Lysen getting it into the corner where Gangowski goes and gets it. Conkle behind the net to Gangowski. He tries to center the puck, but Hamilton collapsing well in front of their own goaltender. 16.33 to go in the second period. It's 3-0 Hamilton. Long pass goes cross ice and level, yay. Has it knocked off his six sores, gets it back. And Sullivan will try a pass through center. It does get to sores, but way ahead of the play was Lloyd, who'd gone in ahead. Well, the goaltenders in the regular season, Monroe posting a 2.62 goals against average. 
and a 9.33 save percentage and a 12-1 and 1 record. Ryan DeMello with an 8 and 6 record and a 5.51 goals against average and an 8.48 save percentage during the course of the regular season. Of course, as Scott McMaster would say, you can always throw that in the trash once the puck is dropped in the playoffs. Out of Rinaldi brings it in over the line. His drop pass went to no one, and Lawrence intercepts. But Hamilton picks up the puck in the corner. This is Thorne looking for an option, trying to get it in front. And Bivic will try and backhand it. Out to Lawrence, and this is Owens bringing it out over the line for Brantford. Campoli takes it into the corner. Blast trying to set up in front. Puck does come in front, but it's McGregor that's going to wind that puck around. Gets past everybody out center and all the way down the ice. Scott McMaster wanted to, me to mention that the out-of-town scoreboard, the Macaw Cup is still up for grabs after one period of play with the university, the women's university, <laughs> sorry, University, York, against U of T, nodded at one in the women's championship after one period of play. Sorry, Scott, I stumbled through that. But Scott is one of the larger proponents of women's hockey in Canada. And the university level, very good stuff at this point. Fergus gets the puck in the corner. And why not? It's International Women's Day on Sunday. Point shot by Cousins. Monroe grabs that with his blocker and glove and keeps it in the bread basket. Nothing going forward there. Oh. Face off will be to the glove side of Monroe in the Hamilton zone. Newberry to take the draw for Hamilton. It's won by Fergus. Fergus point shot there by Cousins. And nicely left there by Monroe, but it's Branford that comes up with the puck. Pajo high slot, shot, save by Monroe. Puck loose again. Rajinovich got a shot and a nice save by Monroe there. Deflected shot, gets out to center. Kicked ahead nicely. By to be Benedetto. Over on that side to McLean. McLean has Newberry going to the net. Tries to flip it in front, but DeMello gets a glove on that. But a nice kick ahead there. So you're getting a chance a little bit more on this time to play more songs this period. It felt like that first one went by really, really quickly, but things really settling down. And the next goal in this one is a huge one. So both teams looking at a more defensive strategy. Boy, did they come out hitting, and did they come out fast. Point shot by Folks, deflected wide and into the corner. Branford picks up the puck, but Hamilton keeps it in, and McGrath gets it out. Lawrence gets it out, and now Blanchard brings it back in, tried to go cross ice. Newberry with a pass right there on the stick of DiBenedetto. DiBenedetto goes wide, slap pass. Great save by DeMello on the one-timer as he caught a streaking McLean going for the net. Big save, one of the finest in the hockey game thus far. Owens with a shot that goes wide. Now behind the net, Cameron picks it up, has it taken off his stick, but Levelier there to speed out of the zone. Levelier has it taken off his stick, but folks will settle things down. D. Benedetto bringing it in over the line again, drop pass to McLean, fires a shot. That hit Blanchard in front. And he is stung and very slowly going off the ice now. It's a longer change, but he turns around and has to play defense now. Levelier will dump it in. Blanchard, the captain there for Brantford. Ling behind the net. Gets it in the slot, a shot. That was Lloyd with the shot and a nice save by DeMello. 13.30 to go in the second period. 3-0 Hamilton. Oh, wow. <laughs> Broken stick off the draw, that's Levelier who has to go to the bench and get a new piece of lumber. His discarded stick sitting in the high slot. Over the line, Gungalski gets a shot, Monroe steals that into the corner. Bivic with a point shot. That one goes wide and out all the way down. It's gonna be Lloyd racing to the puck, DeMello out to get it. But he's battling Ling for the puck, puck stays in the corner. DeMello's got a long way to go. He's ventured out quite the distance, but makes it back in time. 
Now Sullivan for Hamilton, controlling in his own zone. Things settling down in this period after a wild first one, but some good opportunities thus far. Mike Sullivan, back of his net, playing with his brother on defense there. Has it taken off his stick. Now he covers it, and Gingowski picks it up. Gingowski takes the puck, goes into the slot area. Cross ice for Bibic. Bibic comes in off the point. A shot deflected right at the side. Lysen was unable to get the handle on it, and the net is knocked off. Well, Dylan Ling is watching it. Saying, go daddy. He took a big hit in the first period and limped off the ice, but he's skating off now and has seen the ice since in the first period. Ling playing uh, a very strategic game, measuring his passes. The speed of this one, though, is quite, quite a high pace. And don't think I didn't notice the holy diver there and that you had to cue it up quite a distance into the song to actually get the riff going. <laughs> You're going to ride the tiger, Giorgio. Any chance you get. Giorgio DePaula, ladies and gentlemen, use as directed. <laughs> Rinaldi brings it in over the line and dumps it into the corner. Cousins takes it for Brantford. Spins back and around where that Zamboni area is. Some nice twisting and turning. And he comes out of his own zone, brings it to Martin Lee, who brings it in over the line for Brantford. They're trying to set up with a man right on him. Behind the net, it goes to McGregor. He couldn't chip it past his man. In the slot, Regenovich's shot goes wide. Lee looking for an option back at the point, but his man, Regenovich, had not got back there. Cousins had to switch sides. It's going to be Thorne now with the puck for Hamilton. Gets it out, but not much more. Now he stops the puck again. Hamilton might get a chance here. They got three. Thorne over on that side. Shooting cross ice pass. And that hit a skate and just went wide. That was Profetto trying to find Thorne. Thorne comes up with the puck again. Tenaciously he's been on this shift. Coming up with the puck repeated times. Now a third time as he takes a hit from Fergus. And Martin Lee will take it in the corner. Tries to wind it around. Gets past Newberry. Now Cameron at the point goes back to Newberry. Newberry rotating. Cross ice pass in front. They score! McLean with his second. And Di Benedetto, too. Steel Hawks goal, his second of the game, scored by number 17, Brandon McLean. Assist by number 11, Chris Newberry, and number 96, Justin Di Benedetto. Time of the goal, 8.57 of the second period. Monroe makes a really nice save there as Branford trying to get something going and shooting from everywhere. Maybe a scrambly goal. There have been a couple pucks loose in the crease. Well, that play started very well in the Hamilton zone with a lot of work coming off of Stephen Thorne, who really kept the puck in and allowed Hamilton to have a bit of a change there, and a great pass by Newberry to find McLean. And he just walked in with a backhander and put it over the glove side of DeMello. <laughs> the magic fingers of Giorgio DiPaolo. DaCosta tried a shot that didn't get through. He has to turn around at the blue line, tries a long shot that goes into the corner. Lawrence has to give chase. He might leave it for Blanchard. He doesn't. Dumps it back behind the net, and Folks gets that for Hamilton. Cross ice pass, and this is Levelier coming out. Ling started this one. Levelier and soars. Levelier shoots, deflected high and out of play. 10.15 to go. We're almost at the halfway point of this game. It is 4-0 for the Steelhawks. Viking kittens. Viking kittens. If I were a kitten and a Viking, I would listen to this song. Back to the point it goes. <laughs> Sullivan, shot there, 
deflected, gets through and just goes into the corners. Rinaldi wound up from the point there, and that one had to go through a crowd and didn't quite make it. Lysen with a big hit on Rinaldi, and Gangowski takes the puck off of Perfetto, but Perfetto takes it back and finds Rinaldi. Rinaldi with a bit of move, a bit of room, gets through into the slot, but Conkle will pick up the puck. Conkle in his own zone. I repeat, Conkle in his own zone. Winds that one around and reverses it the other way. Now brings it out over the blue line and Rinaldi right on him. Conkle with a great job keeping it in. A backhand pass that goes over to Campoli. Fires a shot right into the puck is loose in front. Lysen at the point gets that one deflected into the corner. That one hit Monroe up high. Oh, and taken down behind the play was Rinaldi by Lysen. Lysen claiming a dive, but Hamilton's going to get another power play here. And here we go. Lysen saying a, a diving motion there as he goes to the Bucks. Brantford penalty to number 94, Eric Lysen. Two minutes for roughing. Time of the penalty, 10.42 of the second period. So Hamilton will get a chance to put their power play to work. They haven't had a power play goal all playoffs. So far in the playoffs, the penalty killing by Brantford has been pretty good. As Pajot gets maybe another second uh, shorthanded opportunity of the game. He had a breakaway earlio, earlier in the first period and Monroe stoned him. The penalty killing was pretty good in the regular season at 82%. They had two shorthanded goals for Brantford did. Hamilton's power play was just under 91%. But they're 0 for 13 so far in the playoffs. 0 for 15 if you include the two tonight. Faceoff will be all the way back in the Hamilton zone. Newberry to take the draw. Back it goes where Sullivan picks up the puck. Sullivan comes out with it. Cross ice pass, Di Benedetto fires it around. Lee gets it in the corner, gets it to the line, not out, and Hamilton controls. Newberry in the corner. Newberry goes around to Di Benedetto. Di Benedetto wheeling back to Newberry. Newberry controlling on the flank into the slot, gets deflected and will just go out of the zone and Sullivan will have to deflect it. He'll have to absorb a big hit there too as that was Regenovich and they continue to bump in front of the Hamilton bench. They eye each other down as Sullivan goes off, and both teams change the complement of players. Levelier calling for the puck, and he streaks out. Big cross-ice pass now over on the far side for Soares. Into the slot, Ling gets it back over to Soares to Ling. Deflection, rebound! Another great save by DeMello. Back at the point, McGregor over on the far side for Sullivan. Ling walks out, looks for Soares, can't complete the pass. McGregor goes over on the far side now. Levelier goes back to the point with it. Levelier into the slot. Soars back to the point. Sullivan shot by McGregor and a glove saved by DeMello with 21 seconds left to go in the power play. Clock. We lost about six seconds there. Levelier, puck goes back to the point. McGregor just keeps it in. Ling on the far side. Ling looking in the slot, turns. Can't quite make a play and Soares has to go in and help him. Eight seconds to go on the power play and this is gonna be killed off by the blast. If there's been a blemish on Hamilton's postseason record, it's been the failure to get the power play going. Mike Sullivan leads it out. Levelier over the line. Dumps it into the corner and will give chase. He absorbs a hit along the way and it'll be Blanchard with a long lead pass, but that's picked off by Folks. And we don't care about the old folks as he fires it into the corner and rack back behind the net. Blanchard misses it, it gets out to the line. This is Gingalski bringing it in over the line. He's hit by Folks and it goes into the corner. Gingalski still has it, gets it in front and Thorne back checking very nicely to get a stick on that one. Great back check there by Thorne to read that play and stop it from getting to the slot and giving Branford a good opportunity in the high slot area. 
They battle away along the boards. Thorne's still playing it. Thorne's having a heck of a period. Campoli knocks him off the puck. Thorne's still battling for it and gets it out. It's those little things that he's doing very well this evening. Bivic has it taken off his stick. Behind the net it goes. Hamilton trying to come in front. They do in the slot. Thorne scores! Great work and... Steelhawks goal, scored by number seven, Stephen Pro Thorne. Assist by number 91, Stephen Profetto, and number 74, Josh Rinaldi. Again, the goal scored by number seven, Stephen Thorne. So just over six minutes to go, and wow. Yep, Branford and Stony, the shot that just goes over top of the net. Branford, of course, re the relocated Stony Creek Generals who have won the Allen Cup the last four years in a row, sorry, in, the, in this league, and won the Allen Cup three years ago. Over the line, this is McLean going into the corner. McLean has it knocked off his stick. Hacking away at it behind the net. Lee comes up with it. And Pajo streaking ahead, trying to get something going. Scoreboard is listed as 6-0, but it's actually 5-0. Fergus into the slot. Pajo shoots, and he just missed the top corner. Puck hits a stanchion and takes a Hamilton bounce. And this will be Newberry bringing it in over the line. Gets it into the slot. Cousins lead pass. Hamilton making a change as Pajo brings it in over the line. He's got Regenovich with him. Pajo shooting. Saved by Monroe, and he covers up. Good rebound control there. Uh, the score, 5 nothing. If you see the scoreboard and it says 6 nothing, it's, it's, it's 5 nothing right now. Goals coming from Brandon McLean, who's got two. Josh Rinaldi, Chris Levelier, and Stephen Thorne, most recently. Long pass, goes out to DaCosta. Blanchard knocks that down over on the far side to DaCosta. Branford trying to get something, anything going here. Look at the speed of DaCosta coming through his own zone dangerously. Now Lawrence, cross ice pass, knocked down by Levelier. They're gonna have to start taking some chances to generate some offense here and get all kinds of puckets at Monroe. They get one into the slot area, but that one comes all the way outside of the zone and through center. Big hacks by Lloyd there on Blanchard. And Lloyd will go off the ice. Lloyd was still fans in ba Belfast. They speak of him in songs and in pubs. Owens in the corner. Looking to center it. Owens doubles back a little bit. Levelier spinning around with it. McGregor throwing a hit. And Hamilton will come up with a puck. Rinaldi. Flips it over on the far side, but Levelier was heading off the ice, winded with four minutes to go here in the second period. Boy, did he ever want to get off the ice. And then he's like, oh, wait. It's funny how those legs find you when you see, uh, when you see an opportunity. Long shot in on Monroe, and he makes the save. Face off to the glove side of Monroe. Folks plays it in the corner. And this is Thorne leading it out to center. Lee plays it in the corner. Bounce off the boards. Conkel plays it over the line and dumps it into the corner. Folks winds it around the boards. Bibich there to intercept. Thorne, who's had great board work all evening, Goes in and gets that puck. Now Rinaldi brings it out over the line. Misses a pass to Folks. 
Into the corner now, Rinaldi. Rinaldi in the slot, shoots! Oh, what a great glove save by DeMello. Lloyd was the Belfast Dynamite. Okay, thanks, Nicola. I rely on Nicola for some of this information. Doug, I'm going to ask you what the shots are soon, not just yet. Point the cannon at you. <laughs> Cousins comes up with the puck as Brantford wins the draw and comes out of their own zone. McLean forechecking. That hits a stake. Goes pass now to Regenovich. Tough angle shot. Nice save by Monroe. Into the corner, Pajo. He's been dogged on that puck tonight in the offensive zone. Hamilton will now try and come out of their own zone. They do. The first pass on that side. Catches McLean looking both ways. He finds Steve Benedetto. Slot pass. And DeMello out to block Newberry, who is going to the net. Newberry standing in front. In front, another nice save by DeMello, and the rebound is controlled by Brantford, and they get it out to center. A long pass goes past Pajot. Monroe out to play it. He backhands it around for Sullivan. He's got two blast players on him, but does get it out to center. Cousins now sends it to Pajot. Pajot brings it in over the line as Regenovich just gets out of the zone in time. McLean with the puck. Long lead pass. This is Newberry bringing it in. Now Di Benedetto, another pass to Newberry was intercepted by Pajo. Tripped on the puck a bit was Regenovich. And McGregor comes up with the puck, but in the neutral zone has to wait for McLean to get onside. Ling on the ice now. Two minutes to go in the second period. Hamilton leading 5-0. Deflected puck goes all the way back into the Hamilton zone. McGregor giving chase there. Coming off the puck once. That gets deflected in by Lloyd. And DaCosta picking up the puck. Long shot by DaCosta goes into the corner, and that's a save by Monroe. Blanchard with a minute 30 to go in the second period. DaCosta with a long shot and a save by Monroe, who steals it, steers it to McGregor. Long pass for Levelier, who was waiting for it. Skips over his stick and goes for icing. Doug, what do we got for shots in the second period? Thank you. 17-12, the shots for Brantford in the second period as Hamilton outshot them 20-18 to in the first. Well, a good guess there, Scott. Cianfrini. Going off the boards, now Ling at center. He's on top of Martin Lee, and Martin Lee gets it up to Owens, and Owens will bring it in through center. Lawrence over the line, tries a cross-ice pass. Last minute of play in this period. That shot goes wide, deep into the zone. Folks, Rinaldi plays it through center, hits the boards. Lawrence gets it off the puck, almost gets it over to Owens, but that one couldn't quite complete it. Now Rinaldi with the puck, flips it over on the far side to Folks. Folks chips that one into the Branford bench. 24 seconds to go in the second period, 5 nothing Hamilton, and you were just really ready, Giorgio, to turn it loose. Nobody is more ready these days to turn it loose than Mike Reno. Winds it around the boards, and this will be Rinaldi getting it out. Back behind the net it goes. Thorne looking for a long lead pass, but there's only 10 seconds left in the period. Folks over the line to Rinaldi. That's taken off his stick by Cousins. Into the corner goes Conkle will bank it off the boards. And that'll do it for the second period of play. Third period coming up right after this. Welcome back to the third period of play, where Hamilton is leading 5-0 here in game one of the Allen Cup final for the J. Ross Robertson Cup. Does this lead seem safe? Don't be fooled. 
This same Brantford team a week ago was down 6-2 to two to Dundas and nearly came back and won. Over the line, Rinaldi fires one, and that's an instant save by DeMello. One shot for Doug. So you also have to feel that in this game, Hamilton's getting the next penalty. They've had three in a row. One of the funny stories is they're unable to score on the power play in this particular playoff run. They battle away in the corner, and Rinaldi... Reverses the puck and Blanchard comes out for it. A much different pace than the first period we saw where we had three Hamilton goals in the first three minutes and 25 seconds. Pajo skates in, puck is loose in front. Thorne tries to knock it away. It goes airborne and into the corner where Folks comes up with a puck. Newberry drops a stick, drops a glove, picks them both up in his own zone. Oh, Folks' stick explodes and he has to, he's still holding it though. It's a hand pass, and that'll be all the way back in the Hamilton zone, but probably a better a hand pass than him hanging onto that stick and getting a penalty. Amanda has chimed in with a little go, Hawks go. Good to have you aboard, Amanda. George was on the ice earlier for a uh, team photo. Team photo. Newberry in to take the draw against Gingalski to the blocker side of Monroe. Back to the point, shot by Campoli into the lower portion of the cage of Monroe and he hangs on to it. Big key of that play, no rebound. Oh well Dave, thank you. Thank you for that wonderful compliment. I will have wings in your honor later. In front it goes, puck is loose. They, Sullivan muscles Gangowski off the puck. No arm up yet as there was a little pushing and shoving in front of the net. However, Branford keeps it in. Goes into the corner and Campoli looking to get it back into the slot. He does, Conkle fires a shot that goes over top of the net. Loose puck, rebound in front. And finally, Newberry comes up with it, but Hamilton doesn't clear the zone. Campoli able to just keep it in and give chase into the corner. Mike Sullivan's on him. Now Dan Sullivan hits him and goes into the corner. Ticks get, sticks get tangled up and into the corner they go. Gengowski. Tries to get it back to the point. He does. Martin Lee just keeps it in. McLean has the can opener stick, so he drops his stick and then is able to soccer style that one up ahead. Newberry being battled there with McLean and Gagowski really putting his weight against it along the boards. And back into the zone it goes. And Gianfrini will try and slow things down for Hamilton. And they'll head the other way. Long pass up there for Soares. Soares brings it through center, shoots! That hit the mask of DeMello, and he still was able to hang on to the puck. Soares, the former Brantford Blast member, as earlier this year. And now on the Steelhawks. That trade coming shortly after the holiday break. So DeMello having his equipment checked there as he did get a high shot into the cage. He's giving it a good look over right now. Appears to be all right. Just want to make sure everything's functional there 100%. Well, Dave, one of the uh, wing connoisseurs, he's a big fan of Einstein's wings in Toronto. I'm a huge Duff's man. Nothing wrong with his choice, and I'm sure he'd say he loves Duff's every bit as much as a good wing there is. Duff man says, <laughs> says a lot of things. Nice save by Monroe there. So he gets a glove on that, and there'll be a face-off in the Hamilton zone. Five-nothing for the Steelhawks. If you're just joining us, Hamilton getting three goals in the first three minutes and 25 seconds of this one. It's now five-nothing, answering with two more in the second period. And with 17.32 to go in the third period, Hamilton up 5-0, but don't ever turn your back on this Branford Blast slash Stony Creek team. A lead in the Allen Cup can disappear. Well, like my resistance to singing after a few beers. Blanchard controlling the puck in his own zone.
Blanchard turns around and gets the puck ahead. Spins around and Hamilton will pick up the puck on that turnover and get it out to center. Blanchard turning around, the captain now doubling back in his own zone. Looking for a lead pass. Just will choose to dump it into the corner. <laughs> well fielded by the paddle there of Monroe. Monroe's father up in the booth with us tonight, joining us. Thorne with a shot. Nice save by DeMello there, who makes sure there's no rebound. Oh, somebody's got the fries out, Giorgio. Are you catching that? Once the fries come out and I smell that malt vinegar, it's something about an arena setting. Whew. I'm starting to think about what was the last thing I ate. Cross ice pass, Regenovich missed a shot. Monroe makes the save and the puck is cleared out of the slot area and out to center. DaCosta leads that one into Fergus. Fergus goes cross ice, but Rinaldi makes a nice play off the boards to Thorne. He's got two and he finds Profetto over on this side. Profetto back to Thorne. Thorne button hooks it in the corner and now takes it back to the point. Now along the half boards, looking for options to pass to. Goes deep and then comes back out. Rinaldi from an angle fires it high and wide. Cameron back at the point will keep it in for Hamilton. Point shot, blocker save by DeMello and that one clears the zone it went off so firmly. Like a nice ripe avocado. Folks, back behind his net. And we don't care about the old folks. Talking about the old style. Newberry brings it in over the line to Thorne. Thorne over on the far side to Di Benedetto. Di Benedetto holds up and almost got it to Newberry for the tip in. Newberry wins the battle and gets a turnover. But now Pajo puts it ahead. He's got to beat Sullivan, but gets in over the zone, tries a shot, he scores! Goes through the legs of Sullivan and past the blocker side of Monroe, and Brantford is on the board. And you can hear the Brantford fans now, who are now audible in this building. Brantford goal scored by number 63, Nathan Pajo, unassisted. Time of the goal, 446 of the third period. So 5-1 Hamilton now. Sullivan over on the far side, skips over the stick of Di Benedetto, and Gangowski brings it over the line. Bibich puts it into the corner. Sullivan winds it back around, and Di Benedetto on the boards. Now kept in at the line, they push around for it. It finally comes out just over the line. Di Benedetto will go over to pick it up, make a lead pass to McLean. McLean over on the far side to Newberry. Newberry spins around, tries to go to the front of the net, still has the puck. Tries to make a move around Gagowski, doesn't, but Hamilton picks up the puck. Now they go to the front of the net, Di Benedetto gets knocked down and gets a stick in the hand. It comes back to center. Hamilton has had three power plays in a row. It's going to take a lot to bring another one, I'm sure. Puck goes along the boards. Gingowski puts it back into his own zone for Blanchard. Long pass on that side for Conkle, who's waiting for it at the blue line. Now Levelier brings it past center. Now brings it into the zone. Levelier goes over to the other side to Soares. Soares chases it into the corner. Blanchard now having it, tries to wind it back around the boards. Gets it to Owens, and Owens skates through center for Brantford. 5-1 Hamilton here in the third period. This is McGrath with the backhander. Deflected, goes in on Monroe, but he hacks it to the corner. Lloyd comes to get it, but the net is slightly off and we'll have a face off. Where it will be, I don't know. Monroe having a conversation with the official while Owens is Jordan, Jordan Owens is right there with him. And it looks like the linesman's lining up on the face off dot in front of the Hamilton bench outside the zone. So a conversation here going on between DaCosta and Lloyd Shoulder shrugging, not very an intense dialogue. And they take the draw. Lloyd gets his stick in on Lawrence, and this puck comes out of the zone by Gianfrini. Gianfrini had Blanchard bearing down on him. Shoots it from just center, and they say that's not icing. Soares gets it in front! Saved by DeMello. Lloyd has it. Tries to get it to Levelier, can't. And Lawrence had turned the other way, and the puck had gone to his other side. Now Soares brings it in over the line, tries to get a find a spring of man, doesn't. More of a turnover there and a big hack by Lloyd, who has Blanchard chase him. And Blanchard looking to measure. Now McGrath going at him. 
Lawrence hitting Lloyd from behind and McGrath hacking at him. There's gonna be more to it. Players pointing in the box. Lloyd will go probably to the dressing room after that pushing and shoving. Blanchard going into the box. It might be that they're getting a power play, but they might have negated that by going after Lloyd towards the end of the period there. So far, no advantage is posted. We know that Lloyd was getting the initial penalty that then Blanchard went back at him. They're gonna tell the, the staff in the uh, penalty box area and hopefully they post it soon. Looks like Blanchard's getting one maybe for high sticking. We'll sort this out and have the update for you shortly. Sean Blanchard on there for a high sticking. The end result showing nothing being posted. Very cranky players there from McGrath being ushered off the ice before something more serious can become available. It looks like a full complement of Steelhawks are out there. But after all that, Sean Blanchard is getting a high sticking. The net result will be a Hamilton power play after all that, if you can believe it. Looks like Evan McGrath is in the box, getting it. Lloyd also in there. It's posting five on five. So once this is all sorted out, we'll let you know. Puck goes back into the zone where Campoli plays it. It is Five on five still. We'll go all the way back into the zone. Deflected. Perfetto gets it out to Thorn. Thorn chips it into the corner. Puck comes in front. Lawrence comes up with it. Now Fergus making a play. And to center we go. Brantford penalty to number 17, Sean Blanchard. Two minutes for high sticking. Hamilton penalty to Daryl Lloyd. Two minutes for roughing. Time of the penalty, 6.36 of the third period. Thorne brings the puck in now over the line. Turns around in his own zone and goes back into the corner. Martin Lee ends up with the puck for Brantford and will come out of his own zone. Right in front, puck is loose. Branford can't clear it and deflected the puck out of play. We'll have a face off in the zone. Sullivan keeps it in, goes down in the corner to Di Benedetto. 
Conkle has taken off a stick. He finds Pajot. McLean turns around through center. Gets it to Newberry. Newberry brings it in over the line offside. And Conkle and Regenovich going right at him. Face off outside the zone. Chip back into the corner. Cousins, Di Benedetto goes after his man. Rogenovich goes back into the corner where DaCosta gives it out to Cousins. Cousins drops it back to Justin DaCosta who blazes through center. High speed. That's a couple times he's coming out. Di Benedetto set it in all alone. He's going in. Big save. Rebound. DeMello stopped that. Long lead pass on the far side now. Pajo streaking in, shot, his goes wide. Genovich keeps it in, fires it towards the front of the net, and that's kept away, and it's going to be a high sticking penalty to Brandon McLean. So Brantford will get their first power play. Hamilton penalty to number 17, Brandon McLean. Two minutes for high sticking. Time of the penalty, 8.44 of the third period. Eighty-four percent, sorry, Hamilton's penalty killing has been 91.7 percent in these playoffs. Brantford has been very good going five for 13 on the power play in their series against Dundas. Some players really yelling, or some fans really yelling, a lot of Brantford fans in the building. Campoli from the point, he got all of that, too much of it, and it went about three feet wide. Nevertheless, Brantford controlling, soars, tips it out to the point. Lee keeps it in for Brantford. Will now fire it back behind the net. A minute 22 to go in the power play. Owens gets it back to the point to Lawrence. Lee, cross-ice pass. Campoli walks in, shoots. And that got a piece of Monroe's pads and goes high behind the net. McGregor on his man. Branford still controlling on the power play. Over on this side to Campoli. Campoli fakes the shot. He's been given a lot of respect and a lot of room on, that far, on this side. Owens now gets it to the front of the net. And that was McGregor. Backhanding it high and down the ice, and Hamilton will change penalty killers with 10 minutes and 2 seconds to go in the period and 45 seconds to go in the Brantford power play. Conkle brings it in over the line. Reversed and goes the other way. Rajenovich doubles back into his own zone and now over to Gingowski. Gingowski turns around at center. Now goes to Blanchard. Out of the box now and into the slot. Blanchard fires a shot deflected wide. Conkle at the point. Keeps it. Goes wide, deep behind the net where Regenovich gets it. Regenovich turns, fires, that one goes wide. Campoli keeps it in at the line. Campoli fires that one down low and into the corner. Hamilton comes up with the puck and is able to clear it, and that'll about do it for the power play. Brantford's first one tonight. It's to Hamilton's four. Rogenovich tried to bring it in. DaCosta does. DaCosta jumping up into the play. He's a defenseman normally. Uh, but he's been carrying the puck quickly through center ice and now has it low and in the corner. And Sullivan, Mike F Sullivan that is, falls on it. Sullivan hacks away at it again, playing in the corner, working away with the puck into the line. Rogenovich has that shot blocked and Perfetto knocked it down. Goes over the line. Blanchard brings it back in. Both teams changing. As Sullivan will start the puck up, and Hamilton gets it up to center. Cameron knocks it down. He's fighting with Cam Owens for the puck, and Profetto comes up with the puck. Profetto into the slot area. Profetto turning. That one gets knocked down by Cousins, and Cousins will swipe at it a couple of times and bring it out to the blue line. Now Owens through center. Over the line, does a couple of moves. That gets hacked off a stick, and Owens has it in the corner, gets it back to the point. Shot deflected high. And out of play. 8.13 to go. Sorry, 8.12 now. 5-1 Steelhawks in the third period.
Well, I see Don Robertson over on the uh, far side of the ice there, right next to JD. He's coming to watch the game tonight. Of course, the owner of the Dundas McCoys and also co-host of the Allen Cup later on for your first week in April. Taking in the game tonight here at the Dave. Newberry and, and Lysen shoving, but no one dropping the gloves. Newberry's bonnet is now down and is now guarding his chin. Lysen shoving him, and it's only a matter of time. Newberry still talking to him. Lysen making the chirping motion. He's going off the ice into the box, and he's actually being sent out of the game. They're still talking over there as Jordan Owens and Newberry talking. And with the score five to one, one might expect such shenanigans. Newberry still on the ice. And it's going to be actually a Hamilton power play because. Like yeah, I, I agree, Giorgio. It, he wasn't really doing anything. I, I'm not. Hamilton's had a number of opportunities. Yeah. So Hamilton will go to the power play here and hopefully get something going. This is their first one. Also of note, Evan McGrath has been ejected from the game for inciting an opponent. That might be the call that Lysen gets. Newberry comes across the line, gives it over to D. Benedetto. And that one goes back into the Hamilton zone, outside. Newberry turns at center. Over on the far side. McGregor deflected, Sullivan knocks that one down. Brantford changing penalty killers. McLean dancing, gets it back to Sullivan. Sullivan over on the far side to Newberry. Newberry down low to B.D. Benedetto, back to the point. Mike Sullivan over to McGregor, back to the slot, and McLean. Newberry has it on the far side. Shooting, deflected, saved by DeMello, and again! Couple great saves by DeMello there with 56 seconds to go on the power play. Banged off the boards. This is Fergus who will flip it out. And this will be Pajo, maybe with another shorthanded opportunity. Comes in front. Nice save by McGregor. Puck is loose. But it will be McGregor getting a penalty on that one. Brantford penalty to number 94, Eric Lysen. Two minutes for roughing and a 10 minute misconduct uh, for inciting an opponent. Time, 11.53. Hamilton penalty to number 71, Brandon McGregor, two minutes for slashing. Time of the penalty, 6.47 left in the third period. So that'll even it up. Well, Scott McMaster wanted to point out that the Varsity Blues were victorious tonight over York. Point shot scores! Hawks goal scored by number 89, Brian Cameron. Assist by number 27, Daryl Lloyd. Time of the goal, 13-22. And Brantford gets one right back. <sighs> it's a bit of a 
a mess. Bit of a mess, but it's an it's an old scoreboard. So four on four, nobody comes out of the box. They trade one for one, and it's six to two Hamilton. Scoreboard says five to two. Perfetto brings it in over the line. Now back to the point where Chianfrini will go and get it. Branford goal scored by number 91, Andrew Regenovich. Assist by number 26, Justin DaCosta. Time of the goal, 13-28 of the third period. Puck goes in the slot. Owens with a shot. Monroe makes the save as it goes into the corner. Cousins tries a little back pass there. Lawrence trying to get it back to the point where Perfetto comes up with it. Now hacking in front of the net between Rubinovich and Folks. And uh, I'm not, you know what? I'm not announcing this penalty. I'm sick of shenanigans. It looks like Folks is going to get two minutes for cross-checking. And maybe nobody else. 14-22. Hamilton penalty to number 24, Mike Folks. Two minutes for cross-checking. Time of the penalty, 14-22 of the third period. Back to the point it goes, a two-man advantage here for Branford. Campoli gets it down low. Campoli gets it to Conkle. Conkle controlling, goes cross-ice to Cousins, who can't control it, and it goes through the hole in his stick and back to center. Branford will have to regroup. Hamilton fighting at the line there. They're down five on three. This is Campoli, gets into the slot, tries a deflected shot, but that hits Chianfrini, who's going to get a chance to clear it. He gets it to the line and just out. 20 seconds to go in the first penalty there to uh, McGregor. Yeah, there's a <laughs> the side of the scoreboard, the home side of the scoreboard is red heavy. <laughs> I might get a bit of a tan. Five seconds to go in the first power play. Campoli fires a shot, hits the mask. And the referee blowing that one dead as it hits Monroe. He's shaking his head. His dad doesn't look too concerned. He's seen this before. And the first penalty ends with a buck nine left in the second penalty to Folks. 6-2 Hamilton, 4.47 to go in the third period. Referee Wes Kindry sending Lee back off, who was coming on late. And Brantford right now having trouble with two players ejected. McGrath and Lysen out of the game. Nice save by Monroe there off the draw as Regenovich got in close. Bit to go on this power play. Newberry intercepts. Hamilton's going to clear it. They get it out to center past Bibich and down the ice. Two men up, four checking. That's interesting. Intercepted. It almost worked. McLean with a backhander. Another save by DeMello. Spoke too soon on that four check, Giorgio. Regenovich. They, they saw something they didn't know. Bivich gets in front of his man, and that allows Regenovich to bring it in over the line. Cross ice pass to Owens. Owens gets into the slot. Pad save by Monroe. That one's banked off the boards by Newberry and down the ice. DeMello out of the net to stop it and leave it there for Bibich. 24 seconds to go in the power play of what was once a five on three for just about a minute. Owens goes cross ice to Fergus. Fergus in the slot, scores! Backhander, high, hit the back bar. Branford goal scored by number 15, Cam Fergus. Assist by number 23, Jordan Owens. Time of the goal, 16-10.
of the third period. Lawrence brings it in over the line. This one will go into the corner. Folks gets it to the line, and that one gets deflected and back towards center. So Branford able to make something of what was left of that power play after having a two-man advantage that does not go to waste. Cameron doubles back in his own zone, but Conkle will beat him to the puck. This is actually going to be Folks now coming out of the zone. Long pass gets it just a little ahead. Rinaldi goes right on goal. And DeMello will cover up. And there'll be a face-off in the Branford zone. Hamilton leading 6-3 with 3-11 to play. Monroe getting a water bottle exchange. Well, Coach Brian Ham will have something to take away from this one tonight. Coach Brian Walker for Hamilton will also have something. Battle of the Bryans tonight. One of the most spirited Bryan affairs since the Calgary 88 Men's Figure Skating Olympics. Regenovic shot, nice save by Monroe. Pucko squeaks through. And the roar of the... Yeesh. A time, time out, Hamilton. Six to four. Some collar tightening going on on that Hamilton bench. Brantford goal scored by number 22, Igor Gangalski. Assist by number 91, Andrew Rajenovich. And number 17, Sean Blanchard. Time of the goal, 17-12 of the third period. Nice and quiet. Well, like we said, a lead in this league is never a sure thing. Long shot in, and Monroe steals that into the corner, but... Owens goes in and gets it. He's looking in front to Regenovich. This is going to be Lloyd. Banks the puck up, and Hamilton might have a two-on-one here. We'll keep our eye on DeMello, who might make for the bench here, as Branford is pressing late in the game and scoring a bunch of late ones almost as quickly as Hamilton scored the early ones. Blanchard keeps the puck in. Regenovich, point shot into the glove of Monroe, and he hangs on. 2-12 to go, 6-4 in favor of Hamilton and a surging Brantford blast getting themselves back into this game, which is what they did last week in Dundas. Coming back from a 6-2 deficit, ended up losing 6-5, and DeMello is now making his way to the bench. Face off in the Hamilton zone, Steelhawks win it. This is gonna be Mike Sullivan who plays it off the boards up to Thorne. Thorne spins at center with a man on top of him. Conkle overskates the puck but the puck is out of the Hamilton zone and Brantford's gonna have to set up to get back into it. Long dump in, going towards the empty net and just goes wide. And that's Mike Sullivan who's gonna be, have to now deal with a face off in the Hamilton zone with a buck 56 to go. Unfortunately, the low beams here in Hamilton don't allow you to get that one up and as much lob on it as you might like. Hamilton wins that draw. Dan Sullivan will pick up the puck, get it, but he's hounded by Branford, and the puck stays in the zone. Conkle has it on him as Lawrence tries to battle for the puck. Now the puck goes to the line and not out. Branford doing a great job keeping it in. Fergus in the high slot. Campoli gets over on the other side. That gets deflected. Long lead pass. It's going towards the empty net. This is Rinaldi, but it goes for icing, and there's a minute 30 to go, minute 29 to go. 6-4 Hamilton. Everybody with their eyes on that empty net, and Rinaldi just couldn't get to it. Both teams out of timeouts, too. This one will go for icing. No change. Tired bunch of Hamilton defenders there. And the goaltender out for Branford. Hamilton wins that one again. 
Long shot, empty net, scores! Mike Sullivan gets that one. And put it up Hamilton, seven to four. Who took the draw there? Was it Rinaldi? I don't think it was. I think it was unassisted. Steel Hawks goal scored by number two, Mike Sullivan. Scores. Last minute of play in the third period. Steel Hawks goal. Scored by number 96, Justin D. Benedetto. Assist by number 17, Brandon McLean. Time of the goal, 1848 of the third period. So now a penalty coming up to Hamilton. Folks will go back to the box. And Owens will go. Brantford penalty to number 23, Jordan Owens. Two minutes for roughing. Hamilton penalty to number 24, Mike Folks. Two minutes for high sticking. Time of the penalties, 19.07. That puck comes up, Lloyd gets it. He's got Campoli on him. Play is offside. Hamilton is going to, looks like gonna come away with a win here in game one tonight after a very interesting third period that saw lots of goals. Flip pass, Campoli knocks that down. Gangowski controls. He goes into the corner and Bivic gives chase. Cameron's on him. Gene Freeney now sticking his man. 22 seconds to go. Cameron bats that one to center and down the ice it goes with 14 seconds left. The Steelhawks are gonna come away with a victory here in game one of the Allen Cup final for the J. Ross Robertson Cup. They'll take this game eight to four against the Brantford Blast. Next game is Sunday in Brantford and the next home game is next Friday, March 13th at 7.30 p.m. Fans, thanks for watching game one of this Allen Cup final. Game two is in Brantford on Sunday, March 8th at 8 p.m. The Steelhawks' next home game is game three of this series, Friday, March 13th, game time, 7.30 p.m. right here at the Dave. Let's hear it for your Hamilton Steelhawks.